we discuss a topic that is relevant for many people around the world at this time. Just recently, the World Economic Forum ended its annual meeting in Davos in Switzerland. Globeethics.net was present, and one topic that became very important around the World Economic Forum, but we hear this topic echoed in classrooms, in halls, in e-commerce, in businesses, is the topic of artificial intelligence. Understanding artificial intelligence needs ethical perspectives. But first, let us discuss what artificial intelligence entails. There is, of course, a worldwide dramatic appearance of artificial intelligence as a new factor of production. Until recently, the factors of production were land, labor, capital, probably also entrepreneur. But with artificial intelligence entering the scene, we now create it as a factor not only of production, but even as a structure on the individual and on the structural dimensions. Think about this. The flights we make, the places we go for holidays, the decisions we take on what we eat in the morning, afternoon, or even at dinner, how we go for theater, our banking businesses, our commerce, talk less of the stock market and the movements of businesses, even of government elections. All these are now being impacted by what we call artificial intelligence. Whether one likes it or not, whether one accepts it or not, whether one denies it or not, we now live on a new planet. Welcome to Planet Algorithm. It is a planet surrounded by algorithms, a physical mathematical expression, which is a set of locally organized operators that help us to solve specific problems. These algorithms move, as science tells us, with much scale, with much speed, with vast analytical capacities, transporting humanity to a paradoxical reality in which people's fears grow, even as technology becomes more efficient, more profound, and more entrenched. In artificial intelligence, we see opportunities for developments that may lead to solutions of many of humanity's problems, whether it's in the areas of medicine, of art, of sciences, of new discoveries, of space technology. But then, artificial intelligence also brings with it, through this exponential frequency and its crypto formulas, think about them, crypto formulas that dictate, they dictate what you think, they dictate how you move, they dictate how you operate. In essence, humanity is now faced with machines with robots dictating to them. This is where ethics comes in. Are we now the subjects of our own handiwork, our objects, or are these objects our subjects listening to us, guiding them? This is the dilemma which artificial intelligence poses for peoples who are involved around the world on topics of making technology serve human beings and not making human beings serve technology. The likelihood of contracting an illness, the film we watch, for example, the route to follow on a road when you are driving on the highway, even the speed, the internet facilities and so on, all these are areas where the human being often now does not make a choice. It is dictated by artificial intelligence. Mark the word. Artificial intelligence dictates to humans. Is that the world we want to have? Should humans not condition, direct, guide, promote, ensure that artificial intelligence is at its service? This is where the ethical application 
of globe ethics activities takes a root, we need to engage artificial intelligence, governments, scholars, scientists in a holistic manner.